The 63rd United States Congress was a meeting of the legislative branch of the United States federal government, composed of the United States Senate and the United States House of Representatives. It met in Washington, D.C. from March 4, 1913, to March 4, 1915, during the first two years of Woodrow Wilson's presidency. The apportionment of seats in the House of Representatives was based on the 13th Census of the United States in 1910. Both chambers had a Democratic majority. Major events March 4, 1913, Woodrow Wilson became President of the United States. March 9, 1914, the Senate adopted a rule forbidding smoking on the floor of the Senate because Senator Ben Tillman, recovering from a stroke, found the smoke irritating. July 28, 1914, World War I began in Europe. August 15, 1914, the Panama Canal was inaugurated. August 19, 1914, President Woodrow Wilson declared strict U.S. neutrality. November 1914, United States House of Representatives elections, 1914, and United States Senate elections, 1914. November 16, 1914, Federal Reserve Bank opened. Major legislation May 27, 1913, Kern Resolution July 9, 1913, Sabbath Act July 15, 1913, Newlands Labor Act October 3, 1913, Revenue Act of 1913 Federal Income Tax, including Underwood Tariff October 22, 1913, Urgent Deficiencies Act December 19, 1913, Raker Act December 23, 1913, Federal Reserve Act, ch. 6, 38 Stat. 251, 12 U.S.C. § 221, et S.E.Q. May 8, 1914, Smith-Lever Act, ch. 79, 38 Stat. 372, 7 U.S.C. § 341 June 24, 1914, Cutter Service Act June 30, 1914, Cooperative Funds Act July 17, 1914, Agricultural Entry Act July 18, 1914, Aviation Service Act July 21, 1914, Borland Amendment August 13, 1914, Smith-Hayden Act August 15, 1914, Sponge Act August 18, 1914, Cotton Futures Act of 1914 August 18, 1914, Foreign Ship Registry Act August 22, 1914, Glacier National Park Act of 1914 September 2, 1914, War Risk Insurance Act Rayburn Act September 26, 1914, Federal Trade Commission Act, ch. 311, 38 Stat, 717, 15 U.S.C. § 41 October 2, 1914, River and Harbors Act of 1914 October 15, 1914, Clayton Antitrust Act, ch. 323, 38 Stat, 730, 15 U.S.C. § 12, et S.E.Q. October 22, 1914, Emergency Internal Revenue Tax Act December 17, 1914, Harrison Narcotics Tax Act January 28, 1915, Coast Guard Act March 4, 1915, Merchant Marine Act of 1915 March 4, 1915, River and Harbors Act of 1915 March 4, 1915, Standard Barrel Act for Fruits, Vegetables, and Dry Commodities March 4, 1915, Federal Boiler Inspection Act March 4, 1915, Uniform Bill of Lading Act March 4, 1915, Occupancy Permits Act Topic: Constitutional Amendments April 8, 1913, 17th Amendment to the United States Constitution, establishing the popular election of United States Senators by the people of the states, was ratified by the requisite number of states then 36 to become part of the Constitution. 
Topic: Party summary. Topic: Senate. Topic: House of Representatives. Democratic D 291 majority Republican R 134 Progressive P 9 Independent I 1 TOTAL members 435 Topic Leadership Topic Senate President of the Senate, Thomas R. Marshall President pro tempore, James P. Clark Majority Whip, J. Hamilton Lewis D. Minority Whip, James W. Wadsworth, Jr. R. until March 4, Charles Curtis R. starting March 4 Democratic Caucus Chair, John W. Kern Republican Conference Chairman, Jacob Harold Gollinger Democratic Caucus Secretary, Willard Salisbury, Jr. Republican Conference Secretary, William Squire Kenyon <laughs> House of Representatives Speaker, Champ Clark D. <laughs> Majority Democratic leadership Majority Leader, Oscar Underwood Majority Whip, Thomas M. Bell Democratic Caucus Chairman, A. Mitchell Palmer Democratic Campaign Committee Chairman, Frank Ellsworth Doremus <laughs> Minority Republican leadership Minority Leader, James R. Mann Minority Whip, Charles H. Burke Republican Conference Chair, William S. Green Topic Members Skip to House of Representatives below Topic Senate Most senators were elected by the state legislatures every 2 years with one third beginning new 6 year terms with each Congress a few senators were elected directly by the residents of the state. Preceding the names in the list below are Senate class numbers, which indicate the cycle of their election. In this Congress, Class III meant their term ended with this Congress, requiring re election in 1914, Class I meant their term began in the last Congress, requiring re election in 1916, and Class II meant their term began in this Congress, requiring re election in 1918. House of Representatives Changes in membership The count below reflects changes from the beginning of the first session of this Congress. Senate Replacements, 3 Democratic, 2-seat net gain Republican, 2-seat net loss Deaths, 3 Resignations, 3 Vacancy, 3 Total seats with changes, 9 <laughs> House of Representatives Replacements, 20 Democratic, one seat gain. Republican, two seat loss. Progressive, one seat gain. Deaths, 11. Resignations, 19. Contested elections, 2. Total seats with changes, 15. Committees 
Lists of committees and their party leaders, for members House and Senate of the committees and their assignments, go into the official congressional directory at the bottom of the article and click on the link six links in the directory after the pages of Terms of Service, you will see the committees of the Senate, House standing with subcommittees, select and special and joint and after the committee pages, you will see the House, Senate committee assignments in the directory, on the committees section of the House and Senate in the official congressional directory, the committee's members on the first row on the left side show shows the chairman of the committee and on the right side shows the ranking member of the committee. <inaudible> Senate Additional accommodations for the Library of Congress select Agriculture and Forestry Appropriations Audit and control the contingent expenses of the Senate Banking and currency Canadian relations Census Civil Service and Retrenchment Claims Coast and Insular Survey Coast Defenses Commerce Conservation of National Resources Corporations organized in the District of Columbia Cuban Relations Disposition of useless papers in the Executive Departments District of Columbia Education and Labor Engrossed Bills Enrolled bills Establish a university in the United States Select Examine the several branches in the civil service Expenditures in the Department of Agriculture Expenditures in the Department of Commerce Expenditures in the Interior Department Expenditures in the Department of Justice Expenditures in the Department of Labor Expenditures in the Navy Department Expenditures in the Post Office Department Expenditures in the Department of State Expenditures in the Treasury Department Expenditures in the War Department Finance Fisheries Five Civilized Tribes of Indians Foreign Relations Forest Reservations and the Protection of Game Geological Survey Immigration Immigration and Naturalization Indian Affairs Industrial Expositions Interoceanic Canals Interstate Commerce Irrigation and Reclamation Judiciary Library Manufactures Military Affairs Mines and Mining Mississippi River and its Tributaries Select National Banks Naval Affairs Pacific Islands and Puerto Rico Pacific Railroads Patents Pensions Philippines Post Office and Post Roads Printing Private Land Claims Privileges and Elections Public Buildings and Grounds Public Health and National Quarantine Public Lands Railroads Revision of the Laws Revolutionary Claims Rules Standards, weights and measures Tariff regulation select Telepost select Territories Transportation and sale of meat products select Transportation routes to the seaboard Trespassers upon Indian lands select Whole Woman suffrage <laughs> House of Representatives Accounts Agriculture Alcoholic liquor traffic Appropriations Banking and currency Census Claims Coinage, weights and measures Disposition of executive papers District of Columbia Education Election of the President, Vice President and Representatives in Congress Elections Enrolled bills Expenditures in the Agriculture Department Expenditures in the Commerce Department Expenditures in the Interior Department Expenditures in the Justice Department Expenditures in the Labor Department Expenditures in the Navy Department Expenditures in the Post Office Department Expenditures in the State Department Expenditures in the Treasury Department Expenditures in the War Department 
Expenditures on public buildings Foreign affairs Immigration and naturalization Indian affairs Industrial arts and expositions Insular affairs Interstate and foreign commerce Invalid pensions Irrigation of arid lands Labor Merchant marine and fisheries Mileage Military affairs Mines and mining Naval affairs Patents Pensions Post office and post roads Public buildings and grounds Public lands Railways and canals Reform in the civil service Revision of laws Rivers and harbors Roads Rules Standards of official conduct Territories War claims Ways and means Whole Topic. Joint committees Armor plant costs special. Conditions of Indian tribes special. Federal aid in construction of post roads Disposition of useless executive papers Investigate the general parcel post Postage on second-class mail matter and compensation for transportation of mail Second-class mail matter and compensation for rail mail service Caucuses Democratic House Democratic Senate Topic Employees Architect of the Capitol Elliot Woods Librarian of Congress Herbert Putnam Public Printer of the United States Samuel B Donnelly until 1913 Cornelius Ford starting 1913 Topic Senate Secretary Charles G. Bennett of New York James M. Baker of South Carolina, elected March 13, 1913 Sergeant at Arms E. Livingston Cornelius of Maryland, elected December 10, 1912 Charles P. Higgins of Indiana, elected March 13, 1913 Chaplain, Edward Everett Hale, Unitarian, until March 13, 1913, F.J. Prettyman, Methodist, elected March 13, 1913. House of Representatives Clerk, South Trimble of Kentucky, elected April 7, 1913. Sergeant at Arms, Robert B. Gordon of Ohio, elected April 7, 1913. Doorkeeper, Joseph J. Sinnott of Virginia, elected April 7, 1913. Postmaster, William M. Dunbar of Georgia, elected April 7, 1913. Clerk at the Speaker's Table, Bennett C. Clark Reading Clerks, Patrick Joseph Haltigan D. and N. A. R. Chaplain, Henry N. Coden, Universalist, elected April 7, 1913. See also United States elections, 1912 elections leading to this Congress United States presidential election, 1912 United States Senate elections, 1912 United States House of Representatives elections, 1912 United States elections, 1914 elections during this Congress, leading to the next Congress United States Senate elections, 1914 United States House of Representatives elections, 1914